afternoon YouTube. Just a quick little update on the fertilizer experiment. For those of you who were watching or have kind of followed it, I have a couple tires of tomatoes and peppers going. This tire, uh, you can call them tires, they're our raised bed. We use old tractor tires and fill them with soil and use them as a raised bed. This tire has fish under it. Um, I got that idea from Hollis and Nancy. Um, I'll put their link up, I think it'll land up there, to their YouTube channel. But um, they had some tomatoes that they put a basically a dead fish, a whole fish, underneath the plant. And if you take a close look, you can see these guys are pretty stout plants. There are some tomatoes already down on that one. I don't know if you can see those or not. Let's take a look. There you go. And got several flowers here coming out. These tomatoes look really, really good. Um, they're growing, they're strong, they're sturdy. I'm gonna have to do something better than these cages pretty quickly. I'm gonna get some, uh, probably that concrete mesh and wrap it around there and take care of that because that stuff's not gonna hold up from what I think is gonna happen here. And then over here, I have um, just worm castings and you know regular composted manure and whatnot. You can see these don't look anywhere near as hardy as those. These guys are actually, they're, they're a week behind those, I'll give them that. Um, I planted the fish ones a week ahead of these, but they um, they just don't look as, as robust. They're not as, as tall, they're not as thick. There are a couple tomatoes down here. This is the cherry tomato down here, but you can see this, this little plant's just, it's itty bitty. Um, this guy over here, I mean, they're, they're growing, they're doing fine, but they are not doing what this guy is doing over here. Now, not everybody has a, an easy way to get fish for fertilizer. Um, I happen to have a pond full of them. So yeah, that was pretty rough. My daughter and I had to go out and go fishing for a little while to catch a couple small fish to put in there. And it's tough work, let me tell you. But like I said, for those of you who have maybe read about it, thought about trying it, um, the, so far the fish fertilizer, these guys are really taking off. The uh, worm castings, not so much. Um, I just noticed there's a tomato. Let me see if I can get it so you can see that guy. There's a tomato down in there on that one. Um, this tire over here also has, <coughs> excuse me, worm castings it as well it's it's doing pretty well I mean one of them is is pretty large the other one not as much but but anyway that's kind of the the quick update on that we will be planting some more of these raised beds I did just get back a little while ago and you'll see I got I got four of these suckers man um, guy about 20 miles away answered a Craigslist post and said hey you're looking for tires I have some if you'll come get them I'll load them on the trailer these things are huge um, they are about as tall as Cindy is so they are uh, they're quite large it'll take a good bit of dirt to fill but I, I kind of like doing this because I get to control the the weeds and everything a lot better by putting paper and stuff under it so but anyway um that's the update on the fertilizer experiment. I will post another one as we start to, to harvest some of these to see how we're looking. Um, I do appreciate you watching. Hit like, hit subscribe, and share with your friends. I appreciate it. Thanks. Bye-bye.